we was leaving, we was done. Then she said, can my people scum? Greetings. I must take everyone. Have returned with my system on song. Me. Yes. Today, we're going to be showing you how to make the ultimate in rocket fuel, which we like to call Nitro Blast the Scene. That's right. What you're going to need is potassium nitrate, like our previous video, and house sugar, like our previous video, as well as glucose syrup of some sort, or corn syrup. But glucose syrup is what you need for the blast scene. And also, you're going to need some water to cook in here with the ingredients, some spoons for measuring, and a scale, which is very important because you need the precise amounts of fuel. Okay, we're going to show you how to measure it. Firstly, we're going to need 100 grams of potassium nitrate. You can repeat this mixture, half it or double it. You've got to half all the ingredients or double all the ingredients if you want to make more or less. That's 100 grams. Now, in the same cup, it doesn't have to be, we're being economic. We're going to pour 50 grams of sugar. This is the house sugar. These are the same ingredients as our previous fuel vi rocket fuel video. But with an extra bang. Like the sugar and the potassium nitrate are the same. So that's 50, we need 50 grams, which means in total there's going to be 150 grams in here. That's about 50 grams. Now, you're going to get 150 milliliters of water and pour it into a pan. And we're going to put this over a low heat so the water can get warm. But not a high heat because the water will evaporate. Now, warm this up. And in the meantime, while that water is heating up, we want to measure 20 grams of a glucose syrup. Make sure it's exactly 20 grams. And depending on the viscosity of your batch, it might not slide off your spoon easily. In our case, that's what's happening. But if you can get a more runny mixture, that would be nice. 20 grams is halfway between, just before halfway between the two legs. Mm -hmm. Right, come here. Is it between this first line and that little second line? At the top halfway, just before halfway. The top one is 25 grams, you know? I hope this goes to zero. Oh. We won't put it. We'll just turn it on. I think it's a woman. Now, add your 150 milliliters of hot water. This will dissolve everything off the spoons and get it all into one mixture so you don't have all this syrup stuck to the jar. If you would like to find out more on how we made this, visit www.bondpix.tk Okay, now all the mixture has dissolved, all the syrup. It's now all one liquidy water mixture. Now get ready to start cooking, because it's the action. <laughs> okay, first you're going to put your potassium nitrate and sugar into the pan. Yes. Turn the heat on to about some proper max here. Max heat. And add your water and glucose.
I think from memory this mixture takes 15 minutes. Not sure. Depends on how much you're making. You're going to want to turn on a fan, otherwise it can get quite smelly. Zero. This is zero. Keep stirring until all of the sugar and potassium nitrate has dissolved into liquid form. If you have a rocket or something that you want to put this into, like a mold, it's best to have it ready because as soon as this is done cooking it's nice and soft and it hardens up after a while. And you can mold it into whatever shape you like basically. Yes. At this point, all of the potassium nitrate and sugar has dissolved and become liquid form. Keep stirring until the mixture starts to become a solid. It's been about 10 minutes now, and as you can see, the bubbles are rising higher than ever. If it gets too high, just take your pan off the flame and just wait till the bubbles go down. We like don't to gamble. Because you don't want it spilling all over your stove and then igniting that flame. Now, death stove. After a while, you'll notice that the mixture will start to thick. This is a good sign, and this is about time where you should probably we should probably turn down your flame to half height, to half power. Sorry. <laughs> At the point when it looks like KFC, it is ready. Okay, now the mix is ready. Take it and mold it into whatever shape you like. Now, this snaps. Ooh, that means it's perfect. There you have it, our finest batch of nitroblastocene. Thank you for watching.